Good Wednesday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is a quiet Wednesday morning. We do have a cold front on the way, but we will be seeing, again, less in the way of uh, less hot temperatures as we go into the forecast. It's going to have to be tomorrow before we get some relief from the heat out there, and only for about a day or so. And then after that, we're back to some pretty hot numbers in the next several days. Matter of fact, the 7 to 10 day forecast is showing some pretty hot conditions as we get into the early to mid portion of next week. But we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Got any uh, reports from around the area? Please make certain you drop them into the comments section. We'd love to see a little bit more about what you're seeing out there in the Mid-South area and beyond. So give us a city state location and then also give us an idea as to what the temperatures, the wind speeds, anything like that is doing out there. And please drop those into the comments section, and we'll read off as many of those uh, as we possibly can. In the meantime, if you're in the Mid-South, try to find a way to stay cool because we're looking at more hot weather across the area warming up through mid-morning. Temperatures around lunchtime close to 90 degrees. And then through this afternoon, as our new cold front arrives, we might see the potential of some showers out there. But that's going to be about all that we see across the Mid-South as we go into the next several days. Fortunately, we have a very large surplus of rainfall, about 16 inches for the entire year. So we're doing quite nicely on rainfall for the time being. So definitely some good news on that. Good morning to everybody who's tuning in for right now. 73 from Bartlett, John Michael. Thank you very much for that weather report. A little bit farther outside the viewing area, Dixon, Oklahoma. Angela Tony, welcome to the show. Thanks for dropping on by and watching us here in the Mid-South area. And through the rest of the day today, again, tropics not a problem unless you count the humidity. We've got a new tropical storm, Fernand, off the coast of Mexico, just south of the Rio Grande River Valley area. And that is just about making its way toward landfall. Does not look to be like it's going to be coming a, anything strong because again it's just going to be running right over the land surface at this point so it may be diminishing into a another tropical depression as we head toward tonight and early tomorrow if you're heading towards say central or south texas this could be a bit of an issue but not for the mid-south where's dorian and what's going on there we'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit here in the mid-south we've got plenty of sunshine looking at the old miss campus in oxford mississippi plenty of sun out there for this morning from senatobia mississippi ranger 2015's weather underground webcam plenty of blue skies out across the area looking back to the southwest city hall cam from germantown around the area of Poplar Pike and Germantown from just north of Germantown High School. 80 degrees at City Hall with calm winds and a low temperature of only 73 degrees this morning. Traveling from this morning, we're looking at good conditions for travelers. I-55 and Goodman Road in South Haven. No problems with traffic at this point. Corey Ventura will keep you updated on traffic throughout the rest of the morning out there. Richmond, Indiana, Artemis Leon House II. Welcome to the show, and thanks for the weather report from up that direction. Do appreciate that, and welcome to everybody else who's checking in uh, from this morning. If you got any weather reports, again, drop them into the comments section. We'll read them off as we're able to do so. Traffic a little heavier at I-40 and Witten Road in all directions at this time, especially inbound toward the Memphis metro area and throughout the rest of the Mid-South. Again, sunshine, a few clouds, but beyond that, really just not that much. Matter of fact, most of the country is quiet. Dorian off the East Coast states. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Our next cold front is on the way. It's sitting just north of the Mid-South area. It's going to be heading into the Mid-South. It's a weak front. It is moisture starved. So the idea of us getting anything in the way of showers or thunderstorms, just not happening at this point in time. And as of about 10 minutes past 8 o'clock this morning, we're not picking up anything on Storm Tracker 3S radar in the form of precipitation yet. Heat indexes, not bad. We're at our highs of about the upper 70s to lower 80s, and we'll be kind of going up from there throughout the rest of the morning. Temperatures into the rest of the day today, again, with that front arriving, but not quite here yet. Numbers ahead of that front will do a very good job of rising into the lower to mid 90s. Now, that's just the air temperatures. Combine that with the humidity to get the heat index. That feels like heat index, and it's going to be pushing heat advisory territory in parts of the Mid-South to where we could see numbers back into around the triple digits, 105 degrees plus 
that's heat advisory. But so far, not really much of anything showing up at this point in time in the way of quite that much hot weather yet, but stay tuned. We'll talk about that coming up in just a bit. By this afternoon, again, through about dismissal time for the kids, that's where we start to see some sprinkles taking place. Northwest Tennessee, the Boot Heel of Missouri, Northeast Arkansas, and that drops through the Mid-South area into this evening. It's doubtful we're going to get much more than sprinkles, but some of those could linger through about News Channel 3 at 10 and around midnight tonight. But then as that front just sort of washes out and there's not much left of it, a few clouds left over in the areas where you see the gray colors on screen and lows tomorrow morning back in the lower to mid-60s to the lower to mid-70s. We'll keep you updated on the changes in the forecast coming up over the course of the next several days. Welcome to everybody who's checking in from around the Mid-South and points beyond. Thanks for joining us for today. Again, chances of showers greatest around dinner time tonight but we're just not looking at really that much in the way of coverage 15 percent for the entire area and that's really going to be just about as good as it gets for right now the really great news tomorrow that's where we see the temperatures back into the mid 80s and it's going to be sunny and it's going to be warm but at least it'll be a little bit more comfortable normal for this time of the year is about where we'll be on friday that'll be about 90 degrees for a high temperature Going to be warm for Friday night football. Kickoff temperatures could be, again, a little bit on the steamy side out there, so a little bit of extra ice water would not be a bad idea. Warming up into this weekend, lower 90s, plenty of sunshine, nothing in the way of precipitation anytime soon. And by next week, if you tuned in yesterday about this time, you heard me talk about the computer models, some of which were showing the computers, uh, the temperatures on the computer models going upwards and some splitting downwards. Now they're a little bit more in cohesion and they're showing that a very warm series of days is coming up for the Mid-South area. Next week looks to be pretty hot. Temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. And if the temperatures are going to be this hot with all that humidity that we've got out there, just betting that it's a good possibility that we will see some heat advisories by about the middle of next week. So something to prepare for if you have any outdoor plans out there. And again, chances of rainfall, not really seeing much of anything across the area for right now. So pretty calm, pretty dry, and unfortunately pretty hot across much of the Mid-South. So not changing anything of that, which can be typical for this time of the year. No question about that on there. Fernand is down in the Gulf of Mexico. It is not expected to be a problem for anybody except South Texas and the northeastern Mexican coastal areas. It's just a tropical storm for now. Winds of about 50 miles an hour. Looks like it's going to be running over the land surface, which is going to cut its power down, and it's going to be a tropical depression by the time we get into very early Thursday morning. So this does not look to be a situation at this time. Dorian, on the other hand, is still raging as a Category 2. Winds of 105 miles per hour. That, again, is some pretty dangerous conditions out there. And again, if you're planning on heading anywhere toward Florida, north of Miami. You may want to rethink that just to be on the safe side because this storm system is going to be pushing its way up the east coast of the United States before it curves away and out into the colder waters of the North Atlantic. In the meantime, this is going to scrape very close to coastal Georgia, North and South Carolina. So vacation in these areas in the next few days might not be a great idea because of the storm system going on through there. Now we also have at this point in time, and if you haven't been paying attention, Hurricane warnings are now in effect for areas around North and South Carolina and for portions of Florida as well. Just north of that, making certain that everybody's paying attention to this, we have hurricane watches in effect for a good portion of the North Carolina coastal area. So for right now, the worst of the worst is going to be here and then also down here where the warnings are in effect. The hurricane watch in effect for the area right around North Carolina. So if you have any plans to travel, these areas here from again, north of Orlando, all the way up to south of Chesapeake Bay, you wanna be very careful about traveling in those areas just to be on the safe side, and especially to pay attention to the weather with the weather experts. And of course, more information from the National Hurricane Center. What about farther out? Anything else going on? It was very active yesterday. We still have Invest 92L wandering through the mid-Atlantic could be a bit of a problem for Bermuda in the next couple of days. Beyond that, we have another 
tropical storm, just a tropical storm for right now, right off the coast of Africa. Gabrielle is now making its way up and into the rest of the Atlantic. And it looks like for right now, the only thing this is going to pose a danger to might be Newfoundland if it keeps on going that direction. But so far, Gabrielle does not look like it is going to be a threat to the United States, least of all to the Mid-South area. So nothing showing up there. But either way, with four active storms out there being tracked, we are approaching the peak of hurricane season. That comes September the 10th. So we see, again, some pretty, again, active conditions across much of the Mid-South. So definitely want to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on the updates there, and we'll keep you advised about all of that. Right now, that's about it for the Mid-South area. It's warm, it's going to be humid, and will continue to be so throughout the next several days. A bit of a downturn tomorrow, but that's really going to be about it. We've got to wrap things up here because we're coming up on our updates at the 25-minute mark, so got to go ahead and wrap things up for now. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything, you want to check out our forecast, go to wreg.com slash weather. Suggestions, anything you want to see on our weather overtime video blog, let me know. Drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com. I would love to know more about what you're thinking out there and what you enjoy on this and what you don't enjoy on this. So let us know on that. Live and direct, I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. Stay tuned for much more coming up with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of Wednesday. And Tim and Jim have your forecast starting tonight on News Channel 3 first at 4. Thanks for joining us.